What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we are going to talk about the created player and how to make a beast created player. I also got a secret swing animation that I promise you no one has on their guy that I'm using on my guy now, but there's also, I think you could still argue that Corey Seeger is still the best swing animation in the game but I do have a secret one if you guys are having trouble with your swing animation so let's talk a little bit about creative players in general now creative players they are kind of controversial you know like there's a lot of people that don't like them there's some people that like them there's a lot of people that don't like the creative player that want the creative player out of the game all right and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take myself here and I'm gonna move myself uh, real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and move myself like over here for right now. All right, now there's a lot of people that don't like the creative player. Um, actually, I'm gonna move myself up here. They don't like the creative player because they feel like the creative player is cheesy. You can see my guy has all 99 everywhere. They don't like that. They don't like that it's not a real player. Let me get, let me tell you guys a story. Maybe you, a lot of you guys don't know, but I have a lot of my background in the NBA games. And they have a thing called My Career. So when I got MLB The Show, um, I played like MLB The Show 09. And now I own all the copies of MLB The Show just because I love MLB The Show. And uh, I really got back into baseball. I've always been a fan of baseball, but I got back into the video games after the Royals made the World Series. I told myself if they won it, I was going to get the game. They got as far as they did against the Giants. And so I picked up MLB The Show 15. And the first thing that I played when I played MLB The Show 15 was Road to the Show. All right, so I played Road to the Show. And I think a lot of people might get into the game that way because I wanted to play... You know, the, uh, I just liked how it was kind of like my career, and I could build my guy, and I could use my swings, and that's how I started making videos. I started making videos about Road to the Show a long time ago. If you've been rocking with me for a long time, and now we've hit 10K subscribers. Like, thank you so much, guys. But here's kind of the reason I don't think they're ever going to take out the creative player, and that's just kind of always been my theory about the creative players. I don't think they're going to take it out because it gives depth. To the equipment um, because what happened is how I got started playing Diamond Dynasty is I I started up a team and then I saw whoa I can use all this I had all diamond equipment on my road to the show guy and I saw holy shit like I can use this equipment in Diamond Dynasty like that's pretty cool and so I went over and I made my cap and that's that's why I don't think they'll ever take it out is because it adds depth to the equipment it adds it, even from a monetary standpoint you know, it makes sense to go ahead and uh, keep it in there for them because it's like now you got to buy all this extra stuff. Does that make sense? So that's kind of why I think the cap will never go away. The created player, that if I refer to it as cap, that stands for created player in, the, in, in today's video. So that's why I kind of think, you know, he'll never, um, he'll probably never go away. It's because it just adds depth with the equipment so I know a lot of people don't like them maybe one day they will take it away but as far as I can see it's gonna be around for a while so now now that we got that out of the way let me tell you how to build a beast creative player now this isn't going to be a huge tutorial exactly on how to feed them and get them to be a beast but if you don't know how to do that if you just want the very basics you can see up at the top left of the screen there's a star next to starting pitcher you just said L1 and that's how you get over to this screen. Now you can add him to squad, you can customize him, you can customize his equipment and you can train him. When you go to train him, it'll ask you if you wanna add players or equipment. Now when you add players, you generally wanna add just commons that you don't need that you can't really sell. So you're gonna, you're gonna add guys like this at the very bottom and eventually they will go up. Now for me, the most important guy that I like to get a lot, and I hope I don't raise his price a lot, is I get Gerard Dyson and I feed him. Out of players, that's who I like to feed. 
because the hardest thing to get up in this game is your speed and your base running aggressiveness and your stealing. Um, those are the hardest things to get up um, as far as um, maxing out. I think those are like the toughest things to do in that regard. So you, that's really the one guy. And whoever has the best power guy of who to feed in the comment section below, I will pin your comment at the top of the comments. So whoever has a good power guy for you guys, to, for us to feed, put it in the comment section below, and I will put it at the top. The best one that I think is, I'm gonna go and look at what you guys said, and I'm gonna think about who the best one is. But I feel like a lot of guys like that, especially as they're having the collections done, I feel like that. Make sure you don't feed a breakout, a rookie, anything like that. Don't feed those guys. Just feed like live series and and uh, what else is it called? Uh, free agents. Just feed those kind of guys. And th there's because there's so many exchange missions in the game now, I feel like the creative player does go up faster than in the past like especially last year in MLB the show 16 when we had to um, do all those like we had to like uh, feed our player to get the conquest rewards like Ichiro and stuff I felt like they made it slower but now that since there's so many exchanges for team epics player epics stuff like that and we have to feed for that I felt like they make it made it easier to max out your guy so you can do that and then you just hit start and you'll be able to feed your guy and he goes up but the real thing that you really want to probably feed him with is silver equipment and extra equipment because extra equipment really doesn't go for anything excuse me if I can go to the train button here equipment's kind of where it's at um, you know there's all these extra bats they don't really go for very much on the market if you want to like micromanage and sell them all but all the extra equipment you get from packs from playing the game this is really what I recommend that you guys feed um, th this seems to boost them up the fastest way in my opinion uh, I could be wrong about that but uh, let me know if you guys out there are feeling like that's the best way because that's how I feel it is like the best way and one thing another thing that I really want to get up is I'm gonna buy a lot of catchers gear because I want to get up my blocking for my creative player which leads me to which position should your creative player play really the best positions for a creative player are catcher shortstop uh, center field and starting pitching um, I really don't recommend the starting pitching too much because your guys so, so good and customized to your liking that there really isn't a there really isn't a, you want him in the lineup as much as possible you don't want him pitch pinch hitting you don't want him playing out of position later on because he's a pitcher uh, the chances of you rolling him aren't that good. You know, it's a one in five chance. So it's better to have him as an everyday player. But uh, catcher, he can he has speed that no other catcher will ever have. Shortstop, I just think he's an unbelievable defensive player at shortstop. And center field, again, he has speed and whatever. But really, if there's a hole on your team, that's where you want to put him. Like, if you don't have... A third baseman or you don't have a second baseman second base is also a great position for him uh, that should probably be above pitcher and probably be above uh, center field honestly because there's not a lot of speed and power there especially these bronzes man feed these bronzes and uh, so yeah that those are pretty much the positions <clears throat> and that's how to feed your guy but what I really want to get into in this video is we're gonna go and look behind the scenes of how my creative guy is laid out like you guys can copy exactly what my guy is like if you'd like that that would make me uh, feel happy because what I see a lot of the time is people have you know 610 creative players and there's like really not many 610 players in the league there is one big guy named uh, Aaron Judge who I'm sure you guys have all heard at heard of at 6768 uh, he's beasting but there's more guys that are that size that are like um, no offense to uh, Steven Moya if you guys know who that is of the Detroit Tigers so I'm gonna go ahead and feed all those cards to our guy and now we got those cleaned up and it gives you something to do with those cards and it really helps you get your guy up the fastest so Let's go and look at 
some of the custom stuff within the guy, like height and weight and all that stuff. So you can see my guy is 6'4", 225. Now, why did I make him 6'4", 225? Now, you guys really should be practicing when you practice, you know, when you're practicing hitting, you should have that guy that you practice with. <clears throat> Every time if you guys go in my stream before I start playing, I am playing against the computer practicing for about 10 minutes in the cage, as we like to say. That's the vernacular of the MLB The Show heads, uh, so to speak. Is going in the cage is just going into practice mode on legend versus a good pitcher and hitting with someone you like. Whoever you guys hit with the best, like on your team, I suggest you make them the height and weight of your favorite player. That because you know what? Now you have a carbon copy of that player at the right height and the right weight that you would like. So I mean that's really one of my main strategies. If I switch swings. I like to switch exactly to what it was. So I was 6'5", and I was I was the exact height and weight of Chris Bryant when I started the game, when I was using his swing. Then I switched to 6'4", 225, because that is the same size as Eric Hosmer. That's the swing I was using. Now I have a totally different swing that no one else has. I'm telling you, no one else has, because I just found, that, found this within the last day or so. But the best swings that you can go with for your guy are definitely, I would say, Corey Seager. I would say, I like Eric Hosmer a lot. I like Bryce Harper a lot. I like Trout. I have this hidden one that I'm going to show you guys. I, I like Beltron. He's not bad. Uh, Posada might not even be that bad. But really, it's going to come down to who is your favorite guy to swing with in the game. Now, just think about it. Maybe even go look at your stats. And that's who you should be building your player upon. So now you have two of those beast players. So let's take a look at his general stuff. Always make him a switch hitter. Like, you definitely want to make him a switch hitter. <clears throat> you know, whatever number you want, that's fine. I like to make my name, like... A <laughs> I, I always call my guy video movie, but I use like Mike Moustakis last year. I used Ned Yost. It's kind of cool. They say it in the game. Now let's get into physical appearance. Um, obviously height and weight. Now body type, I would make buff. Neck size, I would make large. And if at any time you need to pause the video, um, feel free to pause the video if you need to. But yeah, this is like, I make them buff and I make them uh, with a large neck size. This kind of makes them like more like a Mike Trout in my opinion. With the buff uh, body type and the large neck. Um, now let's talk about the head. You know, this, this kind of stuff, it's all up to you for the head. It doesn't really have an effect. Uh, for the hair, I like to go with the fro. I kind of like to make my guy like look normal, but I think that fro looks pretty badass, so... You know, make them however you'd like to make them. Uh, cheeks, same thing. Eyes, eyebrows, nose, all that stuff, same thing. You know, like, it's going to be however you'd like to do it. You know, th those aren't too critical. Not as critical as the body with the height and the weight and the buff and the large. Uh, I do make his arms pretty big. I, I wanna, He's, like, stacked like Judge or, like, Giancarlo Stanton. Like, kind of looks <laughs> He looks extremely strong, almost like cool holes or something like that. That's that that's more that's important to me with the arms. Um, so yeah, that I should point out. Uh, neck doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Just kind of however you want to make them look. But in here, just make sure that you have. Um, you know, uh, I think this makes it bigger. It's, it's like more buff and stuff. Yeah, it does. So I'm, gonna, uh, I'm just like not going to save that. Yeah, I want to lose the changes I made. Um, but yeah, that's how. That's exactly how I have my guy set up for that. So let's go back into customize because we're not done here. Now let's talk about motions and sounds. For the running style, I just keep it as running style 1. And I really don't mess with this kind of stuff in here. Because I found out in the past that it just kind of it doesn't bode well when I do that. Uh, catcher style, I like one knee. I just like that a lot. But here's the new stance, man, that no one's heard of. All right, so let me tell you the story behind this stance. So what he does is he's got a really good leg kick. And it actually, this swing reminds me more of Eric Hosmer's. Not in, like, the hands, 
but the leg kick, especially from the left side, is exactly like Hosmer's big leg kick that I can time it with. And I found myself hitting really well with the 93 Dallas Keuchel because I've been going after these hardware missions for Joe Random, or for Pepe Alizar, I should say, doing the Joe Random missions. And I was like, why am I hitting so well with Dallas Keuchel? What swing is this? I went and looked it up, and it's Aaron Alther. Now, there's probably like two people out there that have heard of Aaron Alther at all. Uh, Aaron Alther is like a Phillies prospect. I think he's hurt for the year. But this is another swing. If you don't like Seager, if you don't like Hosmer, if you don't like Harper, I mean, if you don't like Matt Carpenter, there's tons of swings out there that I'm sure you guys like. Try out this Aaron Alther swing. I don't know what it is, man, but I've been beasting with it. You don't even want to put it in the zone to my guy right now, man. He is just, he's going to kill it, man. So that's where I go with that. I don't really go with home run celebrations or anything like that. Like I said, I just like to keep it chill because I don't like putting a bunch of shit in there for the game to try to figure out. I just go with basically the swing. If I do have a batting stance of someone that has a home run celebration, I will put that on. But other than that, like I don't mix and match this stuff around. So 6'4", 225, strong as shit, large neck, all that shit. The secret swing, Aaron Alther. Remember, if you have a good feeding card for power, if you have a couple of them, the best one, in my opinion, out of the comment section, I will pin to the top of the comment section for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching Movie Gaming TV. I hope you guys are having a great day. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And you can always follow me on Twitter at Movie Gaming TV. Guys, the next thing that's going to drop is the details on Ask Movie, which you guys can ask me MLB The Show questions when we start the show. It's going to be every Tuesday when the episode drops, so make sure you subscribe for that. And also, if you subscribe today and hit that bell, make sure you hit that bell because it is new with uh, YouTube. You got to hit the bell to make sure that you get the notifications in your feed. Make sure you hit that bell, but it will... Um, but make sure you do that so that you can see me when I live stream because I live stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time using something called Restream.io. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's taken me a little while to get the, the this video out, but I'm kind of like an artist, man. Like sometimes I get I get all revved up to make a video. Like some days I wake up and I'm like, man, I can't wait to make a video today. Or I see a video on YouTube and I get really inspired. Like I gotta make a video now. And uh, some days I'm just like, man, I don't, I don't feel like making a video today. So bear with me on the inconsistency. But we are going to try to start every Tuesday to ask movie videos. Thank you guys so much for watching Movie Gaming TV. Let me know your opinions down in the comments below. And I'm out.